Mupiracin is a topical antibacterial agent that has a broad spectrum of activity. It is well known under the brand Sentiny. Mupiracin ointment can be used to treat cuts and wounds to prevent bacterial growth at these skin lesions. As skin is ruptured and opened, a high load of bacteria may present at the site, leading to an infection. This results in swelling, itching, and pus formation. Mupiracin can prevent the growth of bacteria, facilitating the healing of wounds and cuts. It can be used both in adults and children age above three months. In young children, mupiracin may be given to treat a skin condition called impetigo. It is a bacterial infection that mainly affects children in the age group under five years. Even it can easily spread among them. A few types of bacteria like Staphylococcus aureus and Streptococcus pyogenes may cause this infection. It results in the development of red sores on the face, arms, or legs. Especially on the face, it can cause itchy sores around the nose and mouth. If untreated, they can be ruptured and result in a yellow patch. Mupiracin ointment can be applied topically to treat this condition. In this video, let's explore key facts about this medication. How it works. How to take this medication. What are common side effects? Where to avoid this ointment? What are the serious side effects produced by mupiracin? All such information we will discuss in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you really enjoy this video. All right, let's start our discussion without any delay. What is mupiracin? This medication is a natural antibacterial agent that is derived from cultures of the bacteria Pseudomonas fluorescens. That's why it's also called pseudomonic acid, eh? Mupiracin shows activity on various types of bacterial infections. Bacteria can be classified into two groups based on how they are stained with dyes. They are gram-positive and gram-negative. Mupiracin is effective against both groups. Therefore, it is called a broad-spectrum antibiotic. How to use this medication? You can get mupiracin either in the form of cream or ointment. Both formulations contain the same strength of medication at 2%. It is also available as a single-use intranasal ointment to remove bacterial colonization in the nose. For treating bacterial skin infections, you should apply a small amount of ointment at the affected area as a thin layer. You can use a cotton swab or guaza to apply it. You should apply it three times a day and for up to 10 days. You can see an improvement at the infected site within five days. Wash your hands properly before and after use. Mupiracin nasal ointment should be used in a different way. Even though the mupiracin is present at equal strength, it is not equivalent to ointment intended for use on skin. For treating intranasal bacterial infections, you should apply mupiracin intranasal ointment into both nostrils. It is a single-use ointment, and you have to apply half of the tube to each nostril. Gently close and open each nostril to spread the ointment. It can be used for five days to eradicate bacterial colonies in the nostrils. How it works? Mupiracin works by reducing the growth of bacteria. For replication and growth, bacteria need many proteins. Each bacteria can prepare its proteins on its own by arranging amino acids in a specific sequence. Mupiracin targets this protein synthesis, thereby controlling bacterial growth. It inhibits the addition of one amino acid called isoleucine. Normally, isoleucine is incorporated into the growing peptide chain in bacteria. A transfer RNA can bring this amino acid into the growing peptide chain. However, this needs an enzyme called isolysyl tRNA synthetase. Energy is also required in the form of an ADP molecule. Mupiracin inhibits this enzyme that prevents the transfer of isoleucine. This prevents protein synthesis in bacteria. As proteins are not properly formed, the growth of bacteria is inhibited. Therefore, when mupiracin is applied topically, it inhibits bacterial infections. All right, now let's focus on adverse effects produced by mupiracin. You can observe a local reaction when you are using mupiracin ointment. Initially, it can produce skin irritation at the local area you have applied. However, it is mild and not common in all people. You can also have a sensation of burning and stinging of skin at the applied area. These side effects may slowly disappear with continuous use. However, if you observe any severe burning and pinning sensation for longer days, you should report them to our doctor. Even though rare, mupiracin may cause local allergic reactions. 
They involve severe itching, rashes, and swelling of the throat, face, and lips. This indicates a hypersensitive reaction causing angioedema, resulting in swelling and rashes. If you observe these symptoms, especially swelling of your face and lips, then immediately talk with your doctor. You can also have dry skin and reddening of skin. However, peeling of the skin may indicate a serious side effect. What to avoid? Never use mupirocin to apply to your mucosa. It can cause severe irritation, burning, and dryness in mucosal layers. However, you can use it for nasal mucosa. Mupirocin ointment is not intended for use in the eye. Therefore, never use it for treating eye infections. It can cause severe irritation, tearing, pain, and redness of the eye if it is applied. Therefore, try to avoid it in contact with the eye. In case of any accidental contact of this medication with the eye, immediately clean it with plain water. After application of the ointment, wash your hands thoroughly to avoid contact with the eye. Mupirocin can also be used for nasal purposes. However, the ointment specifically used for that purpose is different from other ointments used for topical purposes on skin. Nasal ointment is mild and causes less irritation. However, if you use mupirocin ointment intended for skin and apply it to the nose, it may cause serious nasal irritation and stinging. This causes nasal discomfort, redness, and discharge from your nose. Therefore, carefully check the label for which purpose it is indicated. Risk of diarrhea. Use of mupirocin may increase a specific bacteria in your intestine. This medication can suppress the growth of a variety of bacteria in your gut. These gut bacteria are useful and fight with foreign and disease-causing bacteria. However, with the use of mupirocin, these gut bacteria may be inhibited, leading to the development of pathological bacteria in your gut. One such microorganism is Clostridium difficile. This bacteria can rapidly grow in your intestine and release a few toxins. This results in diarrhea. Therefore, if you observe diarrhea with use of mupirocin, it may indicate a Clostridium difficile infection. In such cases, you may use an alternative agent. However, don't use any medication to treat such diarrhea without consulting your doctor. It is better to use probiotics and rehydration salts to restore condition. Fungal infections. Occasionally, you may observe fungal infections on the skin with long-term use of mupirocin. This medication works only on bacteria, but it has no action on fungal infection. Therefore, before using this medication, you should confirm whether the infection is a bacterial or fungal cause. If you use mupirocin to treat a fungal infection, it may further complicate the condition. That's all, guys. These are the important facts that you should know before using mupirocin ointment. Thanks for watching this video. Share your experience and side effects you observed in the comment section below. Have a great day.